Hello and welcome to Mobile Mondays. So I know it's been a while since we've had a Mobile Monday and that's just purely because there's been so many other games to cover. Uh, Mobile Monday was always going to be a filler, so it was always going to be a little bit sporadic in its release times. But I thought, because we're in September and it's been a few months since we had a mobile game, I'd catch you guys up. I'd show you some of the stuff that I've been playing in the meantime um, before we get to the end of October, start of November, when all the AAA titles are coming out and everything kicks off again, and I will have no more time for mobile games up until January, February again. Now, I'm happy to report that the Room 3 has been announced and it's coming, I think, next year. I'm not quite sure when next year, so let me know in the comments if you want me to cover that. If there are any games that you've picked up since the last few Mobile Mondays that you would like me to cover, do let me know in the comments. If you see someone's already put your suggestion, give them a thumbs up because then it condenses it down. It makes it a lot easier for me to find specific games when I'm looking through. Anyway, so I thought I would show you guys today a game called 80 Days. Now, Duncan has played this and he actually recommended it to me. It's very, very rare that it's that way round. Um, he has had a tablet for a while now, though, so he's starting to find his own his own games. Now, I could be wrong, but I believe 80 Days is by the people who made Sorcery. Um, Sorcery 2, of course, was covered on the Christmas live stream last year, if I'm correct. So I won't show you a full playthrough of this game, because if it's very similar and the guys want to cover it, then I will let them do their awesome stuff there. And, you know, maybe if there's enough interest and the game does allow you to branch out in different ways, I can do a playthrough at the same time so you can see uh, what what they should and shouldn't have done or what I should, shouldn't have done. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I thought I'd let you guys see this and see what you think. Um, yeah, and it'll be pretty cool, I think. So have let's have a look. London, 1872. I have entered into the service of a new gentleman, it would seem. Oh, it would seem. I have to press it would seem. It would seem he is a gambling man. Okay. Uh, well, there's a world. Inkle presents. In association with profile books. Directed by two men. The script by many people. Um, this is 80 days. I think it's like around the world in 80 days. Oh, there we go. Based on the novel by Jules Verne. Well, what do you know? Uh, so we're in London. Can we? Oh. From Paris to Berlin and every city I go in. No, no, no songs. No. So we're in London. That's quite pretty. Monsieur Phileas Fogg. Returned home early from the reform club in a newfangled steam carriage. Besides, I helped him down and the iron lunged steam driven horses clattered away. Uh, I beg pardon. My name's is my name Passepartout. Passepartout, I think, said he. We are going around the world. Around the world. I apparently am French. Around the world, monsieur. I asked, utterly astonished. We shall circumnavigate the globe within 80 days. He was quite calm as he proposed this wild scheme. But we leave for Paris on the 8.25 in an hour. I'm already going a bit French because I can see my options which are in French. So I go into the French accent which is terribly bad. Oh, it's training though, isn't it? It's training for unity. Oh God, more French accents. But I have not prepared... You are in jest, monsieur. Or, this was a shocking turnabout. Uh, well, am I supposed to be his butler? So I, I don't think I would say, but I have not prepared. Or, you are in jest. So I will say, this was a shocking turnabout. For my master, who was by all accounts a creature of inflexible habit and mechanical regularity. Besides the carriage, perhaps the carriage's engine fumes had affected his reason. Perhaps you should let down, monsieur, or... For Paris, monsieur? Uh, perhaps you should lie down, monsieur. That would be a most inefficient use of time, he replied. Pack an altimeter. I think that's how you say it. And my evening jacket. There is not a moment to waste. You, 
participe partout. Uh, now have funds. Oh, okay. I got four thousand pounds. Yeah. Oh, we are going to the Paris quickly. Passe partout. I'm so saying that wrong. I bet it's like passeport or something. Uh, collect our things and we'll be off. I'm going to back. Oh God. Oh, I see. I see. The time is actually ticking w away from us. What? What do you mean? Oh, there we go. Uh, it would take this. I want the pocket item. Oh, I can't have everything. Uh, no, well, let's not take this. We take that. We do not take the playing cards. We take the European shipping jam table instead. Oh, come on. I wanted the wool shirts. I don't want the playing cards. Drop. There we go. So I've got a wax... I've got European shipping timetable. I've got a wax cylinder, which is valuable, so maybe it will help us. We can sell it or something. And a pocket altimeter. That's... Uh, I think I don't think we'll need that. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's what we got. That's what we got. We have taken the stuff. So that's a route from Amsterdam to Christiana, from Nice. Nice. Uh, from Nice to I, I can't uh, Rome. It was Rome. I was too busy looking up. From Venice to Athens to Izmir. Uh, from Warsaw in Poland to Stockholm, Helsinki, and St. Petersburg. From Thessaloniki, I think that's how you say it. It's from Greece to somewhere. Let us depart. We are going on the Paris Amphitrite Express. It arrives tomorrow. Oh, this looks like a bearable option. Let us travel on the... Oh my god. It is a robot horse with a very strange face. So we're travelling. Time is... Is sort of going. Ah, the mechanical horses race past Piccadilly Circus and Pall Mall faster than a team of thoroughbreds. Even so, the whistle of the 8:25 was blowing as we pulled up to Charing Cross Station. We have no tickets! I exclaimed. We raced across the concourse and threw ourselves aboard. So we either now. I I have done this. I will admit, I have gotten on a train without a ticket once because I was running hilariously late. Oh, no, it wasn't because I was running hilariously late. It was one of those ones where, unless you follow the direct route, you know, one of those awful, like awkward tickets you buy, and it's not actually very clear that um, there's two ways of going, and if you go the wrong way, they're like, actually, you've got to pay us an extra £40. And I can't remember why I was doing it. It was something... I actually no, I think it was that I'd just gotten back from going to an event and I was so tired I just got on a train that went home and then the guy was like, I'll be an extra forty pounds, please, because you've come to the wrong place. And I was so tired I just went, you know what? Just fucking have forty pounds, mate. Just take it. I'm done. I wanna go and have a lie down. So, um They'll charge us a lot of money, and it's usually more expensive. Uh, but I do not care. Let us be passionate. Let us be French. Let us be... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Wild, and I can't remember the word. But we'll get on. Throw ourselves on. As the second wish... Uh, as the second whistle shrieked its warning, we barely had time to take our seats before the guard rapped smartly on the compartment door because it would be a train. You like Harry Potter? I love how I'm having to use Harry Potter. I mean, I could say, like, the railway children, but I'm pretty much guessing that most people haven't seen that film because it's a bit old now. Harry Potter when they're in the little compartments? Or actually, maybe, um, maybe like, the, the Narnia stuff. I can't remember what the train's like on there, if they ever actually sit on the train. Oh, the train. Anyone who's read all the books will know why I'm saying, oh, the train. Uh, so we could say, unless, monsieur, we are in a great hurry, uh, or I pretended to have lost them. I think uh, we shall try to lose them, because why not? Oh, oh, I pretended to have lost them, patting down one pocket, then another, and was about to start digging through our suitcases when Monsieur Fogg interrupted my touching performance. Wow. My valet is trying to express that we were in too much haste to purchase tickets, he said, no doubt intending to chasten me. So, tut tut. Uh, which was not all, at all my meaning. And I tried to alter my mime. Oh. So the first one is him telling me off a little bit. Or publicly telling me off. Um, 
the, the middle one is going like, oh no, he's missed, he's completely missed the bluff I was trying to do. And the third one is, oh, I'm trying to quickly recover. I think we would go with the middle one. Oh shit, it is more expensive. Ah, oh, damn it, Britain and your railways. Um, yes, so, which was not at all my meaning and left me rather in doubt of my master's interpretive abilities. Yes, indeed. He was not a particularly theatrical man, it must be said. You may purchase them from me, the guard was saying. That is more expensive, I'm afraid. £85, please. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, damn, I forgot about my money. I argued with him. Or I handed over the 85 pounds. You do not argue with the railway man because they will kick you out or they will charge you more money. So we land over the 85 pounds. And smiled a thin smile from, work, from one working man to another. The guard gave me our tickets and slid the compartment door shut behind him with a pneumatic hiss. Your funds have gone down somewhat, thank you, game. Your relationship with Fog has grown slightly worse, thank you, game. Your character is now polished. Does that mean I have defined my character more? Is that what that means? I don't know. I am on fan form, but we must take haste. I think that must be Fog, not me. I love how he's got health. That That's worrying. Ah, oh, we can converse. Ah, oh, I'm at your service, Mr. Fog. Ah, the bumbling passport. I need to stop doing that. Uh, this journey would be most expensive, monsieur. Indeed, but we can earn a little from buying and selling our possessions as we travel. Very good, sir. Uh, London smog gave way to rolling hills and the pastures of the Kentish countryside, still untouched by hand of technological advancements. Uh, monsieur Fogg re read his paper whilst I repacked our bags. I demanded to know the purpose of our journey. We passed the day in silence. I think we'll go with Monsieur Fogg read his paper while I repacked our bags, thrown together in haste and confusion. As afternoon turned in inexorably into evening, I discovered that my master is one of those gentlemen who broke their silence rarely, if at all. And that works for me. A guard rapped on our door. A few minutes from Dover. We are about to submerge, he warned. Take some people a bit funny, so watch out. Uh... But it is safe, is it not? What do you mean? Submerge. Uh, very good. So basically, uh, we've it's the it's the channel tunnel, but not, if that makes sense. So I would say, but it is safe, is it not? I asked a trifle nervously. I've done this route 300 times and haven't drowned, the guard replied. The guard replied carelessly. Every inch of the app for right express has been examined and stamped with the artificers. Or the artificers? Artificers? seal of those people that know what they're doing. Uh, this is the world's only bath escape locomotive. See, a bath escape is um, an old form of submarine uh, made out of, like, a bath. It's like a really small one. Um, it's not made out of a bath, but it's sort of a, like, you know, the overturned object that traps the air in it sort of thing. Um, very early submarines. You'll probably only ever see them in things like steampunk references. Uh, I could not help a shiver. I pressed my face to the window glass. I, uh, I pressed my face to the window glass as the fins above the wheels extended with the hydraulic hiss. Night fell and we plunged past the end of the track into the freezing water of the English Canal. How rather alarming. Uh, but we've come out the other side. Okay, day two. Oh, we actually seem okay. The Amphorite ploughed through the water overnight and splashed up onto wider gauge French tracks at Calais as dawn broke. Do you have a route in mind, monsieur? I demanded to know the purpose of our journey. I began to consider what we might require for our journey. I think we will say, do you have a route in mind, monsieur? We need to ask our monsieur where we are going, after all. I asked. Do you have a route in mind, monsieur? I asked as the water of the channel dried from the compartment windows. I am as yet undecided, my master admitted. The new canal has sped up the shipping route from Suez to Bombay, though perhaps we could take the Trans-Siberian Railway across Russia. So, surely not Bombay or surely not Siberia. I would quite like to go to... I don't mind, actually. I'm tempted to go with the one that I want. I think if I go surely not and the one I want, he will go, yes, we're going there. Because, you know... That's that's how these things work. So I'm going to say, surely not Bombay. I exclaimed. We shall certainly wilt in the scorching heat. 
Then we will do well to buy hats and linen trousers, he replied. But there are other alternatives. We might also travel overland and across the Black Caspian Seas. But which is fastest and which is safer? I think which is safest. Uh, wow. Monsieur Fogg raised an eyebrow. There is no place in the world which is not safe for an Englishman, he said coolly and with great finality. Parbleu. Parbleu? I don't know. That just sounds like I'm saying Pablo in a stupid accent. Pablo, I scarcely knew what to think. We arrived at Paris Gare du Nord. Gare du Nord? Uh, North Paris Station, I think that translates to roughly. Uh, just after one o'clock. Automaton porters lifted our luggage and then our persons onto the platform with long, delicately filigreed iron arms. Ugh. Paris. City of my art. I was home, but not to stay. Oh no, monsieur. I'm sorry. We are going to... Oh, ex uh, Alexander... Uh, ooh, ooh. Suez. Down to Jeddah. Jeddah. Aden. Oh, there's day 15. Departed for Karachi. I guess that's where we're going to. Or uh, from Moscow to that place. Ex-Katerinburg. Omsk. Irkutsk. <laughs> Karen Sklele. I can't pronounce those. They went by too fast for me to like try and phonetically say them. The wax cylinder? Oh, could be sold handsomely here, really? Well, let us go to the market. And we will sell the wax cylinder. For... I do not know. 180 pounds. It would make back a, a train ticket and then some. I think we shall... Stetson hat, what is this? Uh, no, 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 so it's up. Ah, uh, yes, if we take that, but we have to get rid of some stuff then. Wow, worth what in Berlin? Worth, t wow, so if I buy this wine for £55, it's worth £23,000 in Berlin. I hope we go to Berlin. I want to buy an extra suitcase. I'm going to buy the zoetrope as well. Do I want the hat? Oh, I don't know if I want the hat. I don't think I do. I don't know. I don't know. Or trousers. No. No, I don't. I don't want the hat. Uh, just in case it was too warm or something. Oh, I've missed the bank. The bank's closed. Oh, sod you, bank. Let's explore. Oh, new routes discovered. Oh. So we can go to Am oh there we go so that's how you think it that's how you do it all so i'm gonna leave it there guys uh, we have arrived in paris we have bought some stuff and uh, i will now try and work out where the heck we're gonna go on our 80 day trip of the world if you guys have enjoyed this and possibly want to see the guys do a full playthrough um, no no guarantees, but just for the sake of interest, then do let us know. And if they don't do it, would you be interested in me doing one? Don't forget to leave comments and stuff telling me which games you'd like me to cover and also whether you want to see The Room 3 when it comes out. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!